What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Guys, check this out. Today's review is going to be the first of five videos. I'm going to go over the top five strip clubs in Monterey, Mexico. For those of you who don't know, I've been spending a lot of time down in Monterey. And I'm going to start with what I consider one of the best clubs, which is called El Harim. H-A-R-E-M. Okay? And the Harim Club is fabulous. It's fantastic. Now let's get right down to it. All right, guys, first and foremost, there's a lot of these girls that work over at the Harim Club that actually work at the Hong Kong Club in Tijuana, Mexico. They're hot, okay? Anything goes at this bar, just like the Hong Kong Club, and these girls are hot. They don't like going to Tijuana all the time. They like to spend some time at home. They're from Monterey, Mexico. They like to spend time with their family, so they work over at the Harim Club when they're not in the HK, all right? You're going to walk in this place. I walked in on a Friday night. There was no cover charge, so that was cool. No cover. 30 to 40 girls, and I'm going to say probably 15 of these girls were 7s, 8s, and 9s. HK caliber. Hot, okay? And the rest of the girls, most of them were very pretty girls, okay? Some of them were super hot. You got most of them that are very pretty. And then, like always, you got the caboose. You got the girls down at the bottom, but that's anywhere, right? All right, guys, so you walk in this club. Now, it's set up a little bit different from Tijuana, okay? Highly recommend Monterey, Mexico. If you're in Houston, Texas, or you're in Austin, or you're watching me in Texas, and you haven't been to Monterey, Mexico, you don't know what you're missing. Guys, the main differences between Monterey and Tijuana is Monterey is so much cheaper, okay? It is cheaper. Everything is cheaper. These are the baddest girls there, and it's really about half price, as what you will spend in Tijuana, Mexico. All right, guys, let's get right to it. When you walk in this club, stages everywhere, poles everywhere, girls dancing everywhere. You can set up front and tip, right, right by the stage, or you can get a table in the back and the girls will walk around, come set down with you, okay? I chose to get a table in the back. I had a girl come set down with me. Now, it's a little bit different from TJ. In TJ, if you're at the Adelita Bar, or if you're at the Hong Kong Club, they always say, let's go upstairs to the hotel room, right? And that's where you do the deed, right? Upstairs at the hotel. Well, the Harim Club does not have a hotel, but it does have a big-ass VIP section upstairs. So you can get that VIP section for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour, okay? I'm sure you can pay more than an hour, but why would you, right? 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and the cost starts at $20, $25, and it goes up to about 50 bucks, depending on how much time you want. Now, that's just for the VIP room, okay? So you go up there with the girl, and then the girl's got different prices for different dances or different things that she might do. They'll do anything, guys, and the most you're going to spend is about 50 US dollars, okay? Now, inside the VIP room, they're going to have like these huge sectional couches um, that kind of go all the way around the perimeter, you're in there private, you can take your drinks in there, and there's plenty of room, it's clean, and you're going to have a good time. So that's how it works, okay? It's not really a hotel room, it's a VIP room with these huge couches and these huge sofas, and uh, it kind of goes all the way around the room. So there's absolutely plenty of time. Now, one of these girls immediately gave me her phone number, and she said, hey, if you want to hang out tomorrow, I do private dates, you know, outside the club. And she said that runs you about 60 to 80 bucks for half a day. And I thought that was pretty cool. And I got her phone number and all, but I never did call her back. Right now, I'll tell you this guys, I did not get involved in the private dances that were offered. They were offered for about 10 us dollars. That just wasn't me. You know, I'm all or none. Everybody knows what I like to do. I like to walk up to the hottest whore in there give her a hundred dollar bill, smash, dash, bounce, leave. I'm not into private dances. Um, I'm not into strip clubs like they are in the United States where you can't touch anything like that, okay? So, that being said, let me go over the drinking situation there, guys. The drinking situation is pretty cheap, but like Tijuana, Mexico, you're going to want to be careful and not spend so much money buying these girls drinks, okay? So, when you buy a beer for yourself, it's a couple bucks. When you buy a mixed drink for yourself, it's like three to four bucks, okay? But when you buy the girl a drink, it's actually about six dollars, okay? Now, 
This is the baddest place in Monterey, Mexico, so the prices are a little elevated, okay, what I just told you. I'm going to do some reviews on some other clubs in Monterey, Mexico that are a lot cheaper, okay? You get a better bang for your buck. But I wanted to start out talking about the Harim Club. It's really cool. It's really one of the nicer places in town. So I wanted to talk to you about this place first. Now, one thing I do want to mention about the clubs in Monterey, Mexico. The peso is going to be preferred and it's actually going to be almost required, okay? Now, Everybody knows when I go to Monterey, Mexico, I stay at the Fastos Hotel. That's F-A-S-T-O-S. I stay at the Fastos Hotel, which is only about three or four blocks from the Harim Club. And it's only one block from Matawala 1 and Matawala 2 is probably three blocks, four blocks away. Those are two badass strip clubs that I'm also going to be talking about. I stay at the Fastos Hotel. I'm going to put that down in the description below. It's right across from the bus station, and there also is a Casa de Cambio, a change house right there where you can exchange your money, okay? If you're going to Monterey, Mexico, I'm going to recommend you exchange your money in Laredo, Texas, or Nuevo Laredo on your way down. If you're going to be driving or riding the bus, I do recommend the bus. I did a video called Bus Trip to Monterey. I'll put that down in the description below also. It's 20 bucks from the Texas border to the Fastos Hotel. It takes three hours. You're gonna absolutely have a great time, okay? So, there's all kind of bars. There's all kind of fun to be had. The first club I recommend, guys, again, is the Harim Club. The prices are about half of what they are in Tijuana. You're getting a lot of hot girls. You're getting a lot of girls that actually worked at the Hong Kong Club or still do work at the Hong Kong Club. So it's a really cool place. Right over there on Madero Street, M-A-D-E-R-O. So that's where you want to be. All right, guys. Other than that, the next couple videos I'm going to be doing, I've got some good footage. I'm going to be going on a vacation pretty soon here. I've got some good footage of Tijuana that I've got a, with the editor right now. We're editing out some stuff, and I'm trying to put together some really quality stuff. Not so much video quality, but quality information. I've been super busy working. For those of you who don't know, I've been working like 30 days, 60 days straight in the oil field. Haven't had a lot of time to be down in Tijuana or be off doing other things. So haven't forgot about you guys. Smash that red like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Any questions you got about Tijuana, Mexico, the red light district, the whores, the beaches, the bars, doesn't matter where it's at, I'm your man. Guys, smash that like and subscribe button. Shoot me an email if you got any questions. Send me a message. Hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Anyway, the review is done for the Harim Club. This was a one-take Drake video. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.